Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Got a great one from uh, Guns N' Roses today. We're going to learn how to do Yesterdays. So this one uh, is pretty simple for a Guns N' Roses song. It's not a lot going on here. Um, uh, it's kind of a simple little clean section. And then uh, uh, the really kind of the pre-chorus. And then the chorus is a pretty simple. It's two guitar parts going there. I'll show you how what Slash is playing. And I'll show you both guitar parts. And then obviously Slash's solo, which is really nice too. So we're going to go through all of it. Before I do though, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already ring that notification bell and really hit that like button because that really, that really helps the algorithm probably better than anything. Um, and if you really want to support what I do here on YouTube as well, um, the best way to do it is just join my guitar academy and I have my own online guitar school. You'll see a link to it in the description below. Um, that link will give you a free seven day trial too. And my guitar academy contains all of my guitar courses from complete beginner courses to more advanced courses on technique, improvisation, ear training, theory, guitar tone. You get personalized support from me. You also, I also go live once a week for about an hour with just academy members, like a live video chat with me. So you can get your, uh, get all your questions answered every week. All right. So I hope to see you there. Let's jump into the track. So I'm tuned down a half step. So the E down to E flat, A down to A flat, D down to D flat. G down to G flat, B down to B flat. You know where I'm going here, E down to E flat. All right, so um, let's start with this clean section here at the beginning, which is also the verse. So we have this. Turn it up. All right, so now this part starts here with, uh, it really kind of starts with a D sus two voicing. So you're gonna hold that first. So that's just like, if you don't know what that is, it's like a D major chord, but just pick up the uh, note that's on the high E string. So pick up that second fret there. So it's an open high E. So you're gonna first start with the open D string. Then you're gonna pick the B string, which is holding that third fret, and then pick the G string, which is holding the second fret. Then you're gonna pick that open high E, and hammer on the second fret there to make it a regular D major chord. Um, then we're gonna end this first chord bar at least with picking the G and then the B again. So we have this. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick this note up again that's on the high E string, and then we're gonna add this uh, note at the fourth fret there on the D string. So the picking now is gonna be the D string. D string, G, B, G. So, so far we have this. Then what you're gonna do is that hammer on from zero to two again on the high E string. And then we can pick all of this up you're gonna pick the open D to the open G string. So you're gonna does that while he transitions to this chord, so it looks like this. So the open D to open G, and then you're gonna grab this third fret on the A string, and you're gonna grab the third fret on the B, and the second fret on the high E string. And when he strum, it's not really a strum, he's really kind of picking like that. So it's the actual three notes he's wanting to come out the most are that low, that root note, the bass note there, and then the third fret there on the B, and then second fret on the high E string to the open high E. But when he hits that note on the B string, he kind of hits the, the G string with it. So it says, So with this. And then we're gonna end it by moving this on the third fret over on the A string over to the third fret on the low E string. And you, you keep that notes right there on the third uh, third fret on the low E there, sorry. And then the third fret there on the B, and then the third fret on the high E string. So you're gonna pick the low E string, and then the B string, G string, then the high E, B, G, B. So all together for the whole riff. And then from there you just repeat.
that's the intro that's also the the verse of the song and then we get to the pre-chorus which is kind of still unclean you're just kind of strumming a few chords like this <laughs> So that's just that D major chord strum in there. And then we go to this C add nine chord. Actually kind of how this, this voicing that they play. I don't know if they're gonna play that E or not, but uh, you can if you want. Um, typically you kind of do that more open version. If you do that, you add nine, just a, us two things so um anyway so we have this third fret on the low e string open g third fret on the b third fret on the high e string and then take this note down to the g string kind of an open g power chord from there so we have this d g and then it goes back to the d and then it skips right down to the g it skips that c chord in the middle so all together for the pre-chorus all right now from there we have the chorus which we have kind of two distinct guitar parts going on here slash is pretty much playing an octave melody the whole time um but underneath that i'll show you slash part in a second uh, underneath that we just have this <laughs> So it's just this open A power chord, then this B power chord at the second fret of the A, fourth on the D and the G. Move it up one fret to the third fret. So it is. Hit that again. And then back to this G, kind of open G power chord. So what an open G power chord is just basically you're not playing that third there of the chord at the second fret of the A string. You're just playing the low E string third fret. You're muting that A string with like kind of the, the bottom, the kind of the fleshy part of your uh, your uh, middle finger. Open D, open G, third fret there on the B, third fret on the high E string. So just, So what does Slash do over that? He does this. All right, so that's just that open A power chord again. And then this octave shape, which is the second fret there on the A and the fourth fret on the G. So you gotta mute all those strings around it. So that you gotta mute that D string in between them. Mute the low E and then the high E and the B. You just hear those two notes. And then move that to the third fret. So like this. Then what you're gonna do, pick that again, move it back down to the, slide it back down to the B. And then over to this, another octave shape off the third fret of the low E. So third fret of the low E and fifth fret of the D. G octave. And then move up to the fifth fret, the A. And slide up to the seven. So we're in this. Then we get to the solo. Now the solo rhythm, 
uh, real quick is just gonna, I'll do it on clean here. So we just have this, uh, looks like this. So um, that's basically a B minor chord. So it's a bar at the second fret there and across the high E to the A string there. In front of that, you're gonna play the fourth fret on the D, fourth fret on the G, and third fret there on the B. Into a, that G power chord. Open G power chord. Repeat that. Slash the solo. So after you've done that progression a couple times, we go back to the B minor. And then what we're going to do is move that up two frets to the C sharp minor chord. So just move it up at the same shape, two frets to the fourth fret. And then the D major. Now I'm obviously calling these out how they're actually played on the guitar, but everything's two nine and a half steps. So we know this is a C minor chord, but don't worry about that. C sharp minor. Then the D major to an E major. So all together for that progression again. So let me go through uh, Slash this solo for you real quick, and then I'll show you how to play it note for note. So we're going to start here with this bend, a whole step bend at the uh, ninth fret on the G string. And then you're going to play the seventh fret there on the B. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go, you're going to uh, take that whole bend, whole, whole step bend, make it a half step bend, and release it down to the, uh, without any bend at all. Then then we play seven nine seven and then nine seven nine Which way this and then up to the So that's a 10th fret bend uh, at the, on the B string. Uh, then you play 7 on the high E string, then 10, 7 on the B. And then that kind of half step pre-bend again on the G string and release. Pull off the 7 and then do a bend again at the 9th fret on the G. And it's up more of like a whole step bend real quick. And then back down to seven, slide that down. So we have this. So, so far the two phrases we have are this. From there we have this. And 
I'll kind of stop there because we got a kind of a lot of activity going after that bend. So these kind of bends that go up, you're going to start with the 10th fret bend on the B string again. Then you're going to play the 7th fret there on the high string real quick. And then jump up here to the 12th fret. And do a couple of whole stat bends there. Um, so we're just playing that, a couple of those. And then you hit that ninth fret on the high E string, so it's kind of matching that. So like that. And then move up to the 13th fret. And kind of, you kind of just, you don't really do two bends there, you kind of hold the bend. And then release it real quick before we get to this. To that bend to the 15th fret, so we have this. All right, now from the bend at this uh, 15th fret, we really kind of kind of goes pretty quick all the way to the end of the solo, looks like this. So that's going to start here at that bend at the 15th fret that we built up to. Then it's going to play that 15th fret without the bend. 12 on the B, 13 on the G, 14 on the D. Then you're going to hammer on 12 to 13 on the G string. Then play 12 on the high E, down to 12 on the B, so we this. From there, back to the bend of the 15th fret. So this. Uh, so after that second bend of the 15th fret, we're gonna... That goes... 12 on the high E string, 15, 12 on the B, that 13 on the G, and then another hammer, 12 to 13, over to 14 on the D. So, so far we have this. We're gonna get to the very end here. We're gonna go back with that hammer from uh, hammer from 12 to 13 on the G, and then 12 on the B string. Roll over to the 12 on the high string, and then we're gonna slide from 15 to 17 on the uh, B string. Over to 15 on the high E string, and then slide back down. To, uh, 15 on the B, so we have this all together for that part. And then at the very end of the solo, you're gonna go. That's just a bend at the 17th fret on the B string. And then grab that 17 on the high E and just kind of slide them down. And that is about it. Um, now, at the very end of the song, there is a quick little uh, kind of, they're just kind of holding a kind of a C major chord mostly. And you'll hear this like first fret of the B, third fret of the G. And you'll hear some kind of like kind of add nine, add the third fret of the B and the open high E together. It's just kind of really just adding textures. It's really all just based around a C chord. That's, that's all that's really going on at the, at the end and stuff. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's actually a pretty simple one for Guns N' Roses standards and a pretty accessible solo um, for all you Slash fans that, you know, can't do all the, like, Paradise City stuff. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com.